Okay guys, so in this video, we're going to be continuing our Let's Build an Arcade project. So last video, we went ahead and we built a RetroPie image, RetroPie 4.2, and we went ahead and installed a track mode. We installed the dependencies. Um, we built the FFmpeg. We built that with the, M, the MMAL support, which is the hardware accelerated decoding um, so that's all set now if you did it that way or if you did it through the experimental packages either way it's not going to matter we want to get that option in our retro pie configuration to be able to switch back and forth and as you see we don't have that option at the moment so in this video we're going to add that option so this is going to help a lot of people no matter if you're following along with this project step by step or you're just stuck on that part of it this is what we need to do so we want to make note of our IP address so you're gonna click a on IP show show IP so then now we have our IP address showing you're gonna to want to make note of that write that down if you have to um, and then from there we're gonna dive into our PC so we'll go into that and I'll show you what you need to do everything's in the, the description as well so any links anything you need to copy and paste is going to be in there so we'll go ahead and dive into that okay so actually before we dive down onto our PC we're going to want to make sure we enabled SSH or make sure it, it is enabled on our RetroPie setup so from here go into configuration go to raspy config and then from here go to interfacing interfacing options I'm sorry and then go to SSH should be the second one on there go ahead and select that and now default it's it should say no but we're gonna make sure it says yes so go ahead and click yes so now it is enabled and we can go ahead and go on to our next step okay guys so on our desktop what we're gonna want is to have putty or another similar ssh program but if you want to download putty this link will be in the description you can go ahead go here and download it down here 32 bit or 64 bit um, but once you have that installed i'm going to go ahead and open that up type in our ip address that we jotted down um, you should just get this window that pops up it's going to say login as if you get a little warning window that pops up just click yes it's typically just going to tell you hey we're warning you that whatever computer you're logging into might not be what you think it is but it is what we think it is so it's fine just click yes on that but onto this screen login as we're going to put pi hit enter and then our password is raspberry hit enter so bam that's where we're at so from here we're going to want to type in nano menu dot sh and hit enter so now bam we just we created this file it's a new file we're going to want to paste some stuff in here and it's pretty lengthy so we don't want to hand type it we're just going to copy and paste this craziness so this is going to be in the description don't worry about that just copy it and paste it. It'll take a second to to get in there. So there we go. It's pasted into here. So now we're going to want to go ahead and, and write it. So we're going to or we're going to save it. So we're going to Control X, and then we're going to hit Yes, and then file name to write. We're just going to hit Enter. Menu.sh. So bam. We're going to want to go ahead and type in chmod plus x and then hit enter and then from there we're going to want to type in this dot forward slash menu dot sh and then hit enter It should be doing some stuff. Um, you'll see on your Raspberry Pi, if you have it on another monitor, 
that it went through and it did a bunch of stuff. And it will be rebooting. So from there, we're going to go ahead and go back to the pie. Alrighty guys, so moment of truth here. Moment of truth. If everything went as planned, <clears throat> and we followed each of those steps perfectly, we should be able to launch a tracked mode from our RetroPie configuration. So obviously this is the only thing we have on here at the moment. We don't have any systems or any games. We're going to be getting to that, but we want to make sure we're getting everything else set up first. Um, now if you did do a track mode to the experimental packages, the way that is set up, you kind of want to do everything first, add your games and, and whatnot, and then add a track mode through experimental packages. But that's not the way we did it, so we're, we're going step by step the way I'm doing it. If you do it through experimental packages, you won't get the, the, um, the accelerated, the hardware accelerated video decoding. So it's highly recommended to do it the way we did it in the last video. So from here, let's go ahead. Like I said, a moment of truth. Let's go ahead and click A. Do we got a track mode? Boom. What did I tell you? Let's go ahead and, that doesn't mean anything. I could have just put the logo there and, and put the, the option and it doesn't do anything. So we need to test it. Let's go ahead and click A on that bad boy and see if it boots up into a track mode. See if everything's set. Waiting. Give it a moment. Little baby vape break. Whoa. Not enough time for a break. We got it. So, obviously, we don't have anything in attract mode yet. Very basic looking, but we do have all of our um, retro pie options in here now as well. So if you went in here before, you, you didn't have all this. So we're looking good. Looking great. All these steps are are done as far as getting the initial image together next thing we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to be adding our themes um, and there's plenty of options out there for themes I'm not 100% on what I'm going to use but anything that I use will be linked um, and I will link you to other options so that way you can find something you would prefer to use versus what I'm using or you can follow it step by step and do what I'm you know utilize what I'm using but no matter what it's going to be the same process so if you want to follow through and get it set up keep an eye out for the next video I'll have that up in the next day or so um, but yeah I'm excited hope everybody else is excited that we're building this image from scratch and we've got all the basics done we got 4.2 on this bad boy we got the newest version of attract mode on this bad boy we have our attract mode option through emulation station that way we could bounce back and forth if we so choose we have all of our options in attract mode, so everything is set up through our scripts, and we're really looking good. So keep an eye out. Next video will be up in a day or so, and we'll be adding our themes, and then from there, we will be adding our packs of our games and our artwork, and we'll be doing the configuration from there. Very simple, easy stuff. We're going to get this, this image looking badass. So hope this was helpful for you guys. Appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. Thank you.